Welcome to Twilight Renders Getting Started Video Tutorials. Today we're looking at a typical interior space. We will look briefly at how to set up some typical interior materials. So here we have a textile texture on the couch, a polished concrete on the floor, we have ceramic tiles, we have a wood panel texture, we have a scored concrete material, we have ceramic material, and we have typical flat white paint drywall. Let's look at the, take a look at the material settings we've used. In each case we're using the templates for a twilight render. Here we've used the perfect reflection polished concrete for the floor. We used a high quality concrete texture material and the default index of refraction and the re def default reflectivity will be loaded for you automatically. Let's check this uh, scored concrete. We tried stone natural. Increased the shininess a little bit, but in, then we reduced the index of refraction to 1.05 to make a real flat reflection. And we set the bump to be SketchUp texture. For the textile, we left it the default SketchUp material, and it comes out as just a flat texture. For the ceramic tile, we chose tile, gloss, and the default IOR and shininess we left, but we chose to load a special texture that we created for the bump map, and we will discuss this later on in the video, a little bit about how to create a bump map. You can also find several tutorials for creating bump maps on our forum. For the ceramic vase, we also use the perfect reflection. This time we chose high. It gives you the index of refraction of 1.52 for glass and a perfect 100% reflectivity. Gives a nice ceramic look. In SketchUp, here's the default material. We just left it alone. We don't, don't mess with it at all. For the wood texture, we chose template, plastic shiny, and it set your bump to SketchUp texture and reduce the shininess a little bit to about 150. You could choose plastic and satin and, re re and increase the shininess to 150 if you prefer. Either way, it'll give you a shiny wood look. For the metal, chose metal platinum or brush metal platinum. Set the shininess to 20 and it gives a nice flat metal shiny look. You can reduce the reflectivity also by changing the reflection color to a 50% like a gray and it'll knock some of the shine off of it. Let's set it to white to be shiny and move along. Let's look at this concrete scored jointless material. If you were to increase the bump too much, it's it may look okay in the preview, but it, when it's rendered it, it will look strange, so avoid making your bump size too much. Leave it at the default one. In most cases, it'll look fine in the renderings. Um, typically decreasing it is a better idea going down to 0.5 or 0.1. When you create a bump map on the texture image anything that's black will be down, anything that's white will be up of bump. Anything that is 50% gray means no bump at all. So 50% up to white is up on your bump and 50% gray down to black is down bump. The last thing we want to look at is this glass countertop. Remember when you build your glass countertop to separate the geometry from adjacent geometry so they don't do what's called Z-fighting. I've moved this countertop glass up just one half of a centimeter. And then we've set the top and bottom surfaces for this glass to be the transparent, translucent glass blue with opacity of 11. This, the 
92% gray lightness and the edges of the glass would cr give this green edge look with these colors HLS 1719348 with opacity of 11. I've beveled the edge of the glass and then for the materials we just go to glass common and I reduce the IOR to 1.51 it gives it a little bit clearer look same with the side of the, the edges of the glass glass common and reduce the IOR to 1.51 When that glass countertop gets rendered, you can see how the reflections come through the edge of the glass. And every different angle of this glass is going to have different reflectivities. It'll work just like a real glass countertop. You can see how the beveled edges on the countertop reflect the light differently and make it look more realistic. Let's look at one more material here. The frosted glass in this light fixture. Here's how we create that effect. Using the template translucent leaf. We leave the scattering at 90. Leave the color and translucent colors to be SketchUp. And then down here we go change the alpha to 10%. This can also be changed in the SketchUp percentage uh, in the SketchUp material editor. Here we reduce the size of this material preview so that it'll render more quickly. Now this material will catch light and scatter it when it hits when it's hitting the surface. For the reflectors on the side of the light, we might want to try a reflective plastic, uh, shiny. So plastic shiny. You could just as easily use paint and gloss as well. Either of those will work just fine. So for this metal what we're going to do is leave it as the flat default material because it'll render much more quickly and since it's just very small bit in the render when you render the image it'll look just fine but for these reflectors they'll reflect the light from different angles and so let's set them to be uh, paint gloss because they'll affect the look of the rendering more so choose carefully which materials you apply uh, templates to because each template will add a little bit of time to your rendering and the larger the surface the more the render time will be affected by those templates. So start applying templates to the most important surfaces and then work your way down to the smaller surfaces. Be sure to hit like and subscribe to our channel. Check out our other video tutorials here as well as our many tutorials available on our website twilightrender.com.